is Caleb Craig Devil 2002. This time we're going to actually do a review on something that I grew up watching, and it is the Astro Megazord. Now, I actually have always wanted this when I was younger. I didn't have any money, and I just had to say, like, you know, like, this is what I grew up on. I remember seeing all the Rangers just going to space. Also, I thought it was really cool, but I love how they introduce every Ranger in the actual opening uh, theme. <laughs> Man, yo, I used to think this was the freshest outfit any human being could wear. <laughs> Though the Silver Ranger was the cleanest. <laughs> yeah, but this is really hitting the nostalgia spot. I just love the show. The show was awesome, and I can't wait to review this, guys. So let's get into it. Though in here on the front is the old school deluxe Astro Megazord box, man. It's bringing back so many memories. Or no, Bandai. <laughs> Accessories or the head and rockets. Here you're saying that it actually does have lights and sound and more into the robot to spaceship. But I cannot really remember when it actually lit up. Cars two AAA batteries not included and made in Thailand. Thailand. Get a nice, very cool looking picture of the Astro Megazord on the side. Uh, just a picture of the five of them bring back so many memories. On the other side, it says you can collect them all. And here has a Quadro Blaster. I'm not really interested in that one, but I really do want the Astro Blaster. Uh, the back of the box looks so cool. Yes, it's a little rough, but look at that. You are seeing it in the Mega Shin mode from the side. Looking cool in the Robot Zord mode, the shuttle boosters, and the shuttle storage. I just love whenever boxes were like this. You see how creative they were? See the space in the background? Oh, I love it. All right, but that's a quick got the box. And now let's look at the actual. Hey, 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 Caleb. Hey, uh, can I be a Power Ranger? I mean, not really. You don't even have any of the weapons. Hmm. Oh, right. Now that's what I call a Dragon Zord. I'll just steal this Dragon Dagger. Yeah, that's a clean definition of the Dragon Zord. Yes, I was able to get it. All right. Now let's open this bad boy up. Me and I tell you, this show is a nice box. Oh, you know I'm feeling it right now. All right, and here is, I guess you would call the Astro Mega Ship out of packaging. It does come with quite a few accessories. I'm missing one of the blasters, but other than that, it's pretty good. You do get two blasters that you can actually put onto the ship. Dan, this is me professionally putting on the two blasters. You get an unpainted sword that really doesn't go anywhere. You just kind of put it in the hand of the Zord once you transform it. You also get this shield right here that you put onto the bottom. Let me show you. Watch how I professionally smush it in there to make it fit when I put it into the Astro Mega Ship. You also get kind of a gun slash launcher that you put in the bottom of the ship. Let me show you. <laughs> I actually look like I know what I'm doing when I put in this piece. Very smooth. Last but not least, which is my best part to me and really cool, and also where the head is stored, is the actual rocket on the inside. Let's put that in there. This part was actually very easy to move to put in. It just kind of blows my mind how easy and accurate this is to the show, especially when I put it in. Alright, now let's transform it. Then you also have the little side blasters right here. Let's snap them into place. Yes, I am missing one of them. All right, now let's transform this bad boy. Now yeah, what's really cool is that, of course, in the back is the on and off switch. You turn it on, so now you have sounds and all that. So you have one sound. If you click here on the inside, if you can see inside, just like that. And what you can do is you can take the head, and when you clap it down, it actually does make a sound. Come back to the 90s, of course, a lot of stuff has stickers on them. So as you can see, we have some kind of shiny stickers here you can put on. I do like the red color. I wish it was a bit brighter. It looks very dark. But so I guess when you light it up, <clears throat> you see it only lights up really towards the middle. I wish it lit up the whole way through the whole figure. 
Whoever had the sticker before me, they didn't put it on completely straight. You see, it's just more stickers. This one's halfway trying to come off there. At the bottom, they're a little faded. I mean, guys, if I could go back in time, I would have, like, <laughs> bought one of these and took so much good care of it. Like I do my figures now. And you see here how the feet are curved. I always did like that because it always looks like it's about to fall over because it's always, like, in this angle. It was like it's about to fall over, but it's not. It's just how the feet are designed. The blast was on the feet, all the little details they put in there, and all this was one solid color. You aren't going to get any shading with the Megazords. All around, you got stickers, and you got like kind of a straight blue, kind of darkish blue, red, and plastic white and chrome. That's all you really needed, and a lot of nostalgia. And yeah, the face sculpt looks very good. Yeah, I wonder if I can make a wrap off of this. But then it hit Caleb. He didn't need any music. He could just freestyle his rap. He just had to speak from the heart of being a collector and being on YouTube. He would do it no matter what. You're right, let's kill it! Right now you hooked in, watching my tour review, subscription, likes, clickbait, and it's all on YouTube. Everything from Marvel Legends, Hot Toys, Power Rangers, if you talk through my channel, then you are a commentator. I love it though when you active on my channel. Unless you troll my video, then it means you want a battle. I see a trolling person, I might stare, and I'm just playing because honestly, I really don't care. I hope my videos are good enough to recommend. The site call you subscribers, but I call you friend. Now that's what happened when I start to feel it, but right now I'm going to go ahead and just end it. Okay, well that's over. But here's the Astro Megazord. And here he's compared to the Retro Megazord. The Retro Dragonzord. And here you are compared to the Thunder Megazord. Dan, here they are compared to the SH Figure Arts Green Ranger. And here it is compared to Deadpool. Hey, give me back my Dragon Dagger, or I'll unleash my Dragonzord. Well, this really is a pickle. Let me try to plead it and see what happens. Well, this is not what I expected. Okay, there's a lot of flying around, but transform! Oh yeah, Deluxe Astro Megazord is ready to go! But this has been a review of the Deluxe Astro Megazord, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in future videos. Bye. Woo woo, you seem to have made it to the end of this video. You are the real VIP.